Hey guys and welcome back to our last episode of our neck drawing. Today's video is about shading and how the correct manipulation of our strokes can help us create a realistic drawing. In the previous episodes, we've talked about structure and proportion, followed by anatomy. Both are important to understand in order for us to grasp the fundamentals and basics of our drawing. Just click on the link above if you wish to draw the three-quarter view of the neck bones from scratch. And now, just before we start with the shading process, let's do some shading exercises. Draw parallelograms on three sides using obliques and parallel lines to create a cuboid. Then divide this cuboid into four equal parts. And now draw parallel bulky and hollow curves to create a curvy linear 3D shape. Then start creating shading by replicating the same oblique strokes to create a realistic hollow curvy shapes. I always start with the darkest shadow and climb my way up to the light. Take care of the edges by manipulating your pencil and controlling your strokes. The edges are the bridge between different grading values. After perspective, proportions and anatomy, we step into the last part of our drawing, which is value gradation or shading process. For that, we start by identifying the darkest parts. Remember that there are several techniques in drawing shadows. Mine is always the same, which is starting with the darkest shadow and climbing my way up to the light. Our neck anatomical form is cylindrical and curvilinear. Therefore, Manipulate your pencil to create a dynamic form by emphasizing on the roundness and curvy shapes of our anatomy forms. Remember that in order to have a realistic drawing, we need to have accurate proportions and anatomical knowledge by working on the whole drawing at the same time. Which means drawing like a printer won't help you with your constructive analysis. You also need to remember that each step must be depicted correctly, starting from our main geometric forms up to the value gradation. By working on each step and observing our reference photo or our cast, we correct and depict our mistakes, which are the guiding principle of an accurate drawing. Which means you do not need to be afraid of the mistakes if you're doing mistakes because the mistakes, these mistakes will help you to progress. We identify first our core shadow, which is our darkest part, and then we work on the whole drawing at the same time. The core shadow is our darkest shadow. It is a major anchor from which you gradually work towards the lightest part. For more information on the shading process, you can click on the link above. As I've said earlier, 
you need to take care of the edges. You climb your way up in the value scale and start implementing the middle dark tone, which is the bridge between the darkest shading part and the lightest part. By controlling my pencil strokes, knowing where and how to lay down my shading strokes, I work on the reflected light, which is the light that bounces back into a shadow from the surrounding area. It is usually found between the darkest shadow on a bumpy part and the limit of the ladder. When creating this whole process, I go back over and over again on my starting points, which are my darkest shadow. This will help the transition of the value gradation from dark to light. Remember, shadow strokes take the form of curved and bumpy shapes of the anatomical parts. That is why in a drawing, you will have curvy shadow strokes along with opposite directional linear shading strokes. And that's it. I hope that this video and these episodes were helpful in this constructive analysis and the recreation of a 3D or three-quarter view of a neck drawing. If you have any comments, please do not hesitate to write it down in the comment box below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more art inspiration. This will help me a lot. I'll see you next time. Ciao.